tell you how much fun I'm having. Welcome back, Scullery fans. We're so glad that the four of you are joining us today. We <laughs> so appreciate you being with us. We know it's been some time since we've been able to get together, but we've got a, a, our, our a special guest with us today. One of our founding members, oh, Mike who's is with us here today, back from Raleigh, North Carolina. We got on tap today. This was your brainchild. So share with us what we got going on. We got meat. Lots. We got two flank steaks, mm -hmm. all right? Because we got a lot of people coming. So we're going to make pinwheel steaks. All right, do you ever have a pinwheel steak? Uh, no, but they look amazing. <laughs> all right. They sound amazing. You've seen the pinwheels, you know, that people put in their gardens in their front yards. I, I have. I think when we went up to Uncle Giuseppe, didn't we see something similar to this? Yeah, we did. Is that where your yeah. inspiration came from or somewhere else? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Oh, uh, you know when it's bleeding, it's good. Oh, yeah. Uh, I got bloody steaks. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to roll these out flat, all right? All right. Because um, it's a flat cut of meat. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to mm -hmm. smear it with this Italian chili peppers. But they're not, they're not supposed to be super hot. They're supposed to be like medium hot. But this is a paste, they crush them into a jar. You can get this at Whole Foods or just order it on Amazon. And we're gonna smear that all over that steak. Then we're gonna put a nice bed of arugula Ooh. over the chili paste. Mm, now you're talking. And we're gonna top that off with some sliced pieces of uh, mozzarella. Then we're gonna roll the steak up. Hector doesn't like anything green. We're no, no, just kale. Just no, kale. just kale. Okay. Kale, good? kale should be outlawed. We're don't, good. Don't hold on, hold on. Cheers. Salute. Break time. Go, get me. Help me. Uh, 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 uh. Help a brother out. <laughs> All right. All right. Cheers. No right. kale. No okay. kale. It's chosen right. wisely. <laughs> we're gonna roll that up into a tube. Where's the cheese, bro? And that was yeah. That was my idea, wasn't it? That was your idea. That was my idea. It was. That was that was his idea. Full credit for the cheese. Dude, Duder, called the cheese. Nice. We're gonna tie it in sections, and we're gonna cut in between the ties to make our pinwheels. But do we cut before we cook or after we cook? Before. Interesting. So it holds together while you cook it. Okay. And Mr. G is gonna introduce us. This is the first episode where we've ever used the Blackstone. Ooh, so Blackstone. That's what we got on deck today, so nice. stick around, hit the subscribe button, ring that bell to get likes, because when we do this again in six months, you'll get a <laughs> notification. All right, dude. Mr. G has got something here called a Blackstone. What, what, what is this, Mr. G? So a Blackstone is a cast iron griddle. Wow. So it's like a, a mobile diner? Yeah, it's like, you know, you want to be a shorter to cook on the run? There you go. All right. Blackstones come in all different sizes. 17, this is a 22. These are your typical tailgate ones. And then you go probably 36, 40 plus inches. You can get all different sizes. You got a whole mobile kitchen in there. Yeah, the mobile kitchen. Do a lot of camping, so this is great for camping, great for tailgates. And it runs on uh, propane. A little propane, little five pounder here. You can do one pounders. You can do the one pounders with this little adapter that comes with the Blackstone. It will eat a one pounder really fast, so I recommend a five pounder or above with the attachment. Nice. So we're gonna fry up uh, we're some gonna, pinwheel we're steaks. Gonna start up with a little pepperoni first. Ooh, appetizer. Yes. You got and a we'll, schlong. That's right. And we'll go from the pepperoni to the pinwheel. Nice. Which we've already prepped. He's gonna heat up a shalong. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Are you gonna let him? Mike's dangerous. Nah, bro. already good. You gonna let him do this? He, 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 he said he was coming up. He said, Is that enough, you think? I, I have no idea. Oh. Oh, hey. Hey, hello. Hey, Is it hot? Is it it's 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 more right. Scrape right. that off. Sweet. Uh, Can we get a close up here of this uh, schmear? Right. Look at that. Huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, outside. Good idea. Okay. So, some rockets. Oh, I didn't wash it. It's just, usually it's ready to cook, ready to eat. 
Triple wash. Ready to eat. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Would you sweat the small Plus, stuff. you're going to be cooking it. Do you want like a pretty like shimmery cheese before the arugula mic or no? Uh, uh, according to uh, for, uh, the recipe I looked up called for cheese on top of it. Nice. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna put some generous because this will shrink. Yes, it will. Okay, shrink. Better. It's better. I want some meat on my meat. <laughs> and this green stuff. I don't know. It's a hey, lot of green. Hector's man. getting nervous, Mike. I don't know, man. All right, we'll, we'll get Is this pre sliced mozzarella or no? No. Uh oh. Here you go. For those of you uh, south of the New Jersey, Pennsylvania border, that's called mozzarella. Mm. Not a lot better than I thought it was. This might be the best. Nice pour. Nice. Oktoberfest. It might be the best tasting. Mm -hmm. Your boy was trying to clean a bowl in the sink. Who is this? I don't know. Oh, uh, yours. We want to go thin with the mozzarella? We've, we've all had COVID, so. I mean. Uh, go with your gut on the mutts. Mm -hmm. no. Mutsy, mutsy. We got, we got, you got me, we got to roll. Mm. That, yeah. looks, that looks good. I want to put the whole thing in my mouth. Right? Yeah. yeah. You can cook it like this with the, yeah, let's come oh on. Oh my God, Mike, what did you make oh, there? Oh, Mike. What the? This is amazingness. It, it's like a sub, man. It's like a flank like, steak sub. Right there, you think? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Or a calzone. Calzone. <laughs> what was that? Calzone. Are you from Raleigh? <laughs> I didn't say cows only. Does it? Hey, listen. We don't always know what we're... There you go. Like, now you're cooking. Oh, oh, Mike. Nice. Yeah. How do we cook the inside meat? Oh, that's good. When I buy these in the store, I try and cast iron pan. Yeah. Then I get a really nice hot yeah. gas. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yep. Some folks are meat. Boom. Yeah, that's nice right there. <laughs> you know what I find mesmerizing? What's that, Scott? I, I can never get enough of watching the cheese bubble out. Oh, that's good stuff right there. All right, here we are. Taking the pinwheel steaks off the Blackstone. Man, I gotta say, these look like they are perfectly done. Oh, Charred on the outside, perfectly cooked on the inside. Oh, ow, hot. Hammer. All right, we gotta ding it. All right, ding, ding, ding. I ain't got nothing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're hanging. You've chosen wisely. <laughs> He's chosen poorly, he doesn't have a drink. Something's very wrong with this picture. <laughs> That's good. What do you think, Grimmeister? All right, let me, let me cut it. I should slide off and pull it off. The, um, the cutting, cutting, cutting utensils are a little suspect. A little bit out of yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's because they're plant-based. It's got green stuff in it. You want to sit down over here? Let's see. All right, here we go. You want to sit down over here? Come on. I don't know. I'll move. I'll move. Come. That's good. Oh, yeah. Very good. Where should we go with this? What do you think? There's like several locations for it. You know what? So it became finger food. He doesn't go to the location. Yeah. But it, it's, it's so much better eating it like this because then you can scoop up all the good stuff. Uh, yeah. It kind of falls out of the pinwheel. Yeah. And it, what do you think, G? Mm. Mm. Yeah? All right. Well, we hope you enjoyed watching this episode as much as we enjoyed making and eating our pinwheel steaks. And remember, folks, hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell so you get notified next time we make another video. Until then, enjoy.